Samsung has given their best display to the iPhone 14 from MaxChat has 2000 nits of peak brightness. ICE Universe published the exact dimensions of the Galaxy S23 series. The new models grew by a fraction over millimeter in height and width, and that came from extra bezels to be specific 0.15 millimeters on all four sides around the display. The display size however will remain the same, and I guess we'll see the same with the S23 Elder as well. But I can assure you though you're not going to notice these changes in real life because they are so small, but what you're going to notice if you reduce curved display on the S23 Ultra, with flutter sides compared to the S22 Ultra. We don't have any cat leaks yet, but this concept design should give you a better idea of what to expect. The Galaxy S23 Ultra is also expected to keep the same camera layout as the S22 Ultra, but with a beefier sensor. Recent rumors have been strongly suggesting that the main camera will get upgraded to a 200 megapixel sensor, a sizable leap from the current 108 megapixel on the S22 Ultra. However, given that the iPhone 14 Pro Max is currently ahead of the S22 Ultra in numerous camera tests, despite only sporting a 48 megapixel main sensor, it remains to be seen what boosts those hypothetical megapixels will provide to the S23 Ultra. More megapixels does not always equal better photos we've said that multiple times on this channel. According to the Laker, the company's mobile division wants the next generation of flagship phones to be powered by Qualcomm processors, possibly the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, but Samsung Electronics insists the device shaped with Exynos in some regions of the world. This seems to be generating internal conflicts in the company as reported by ICE Universe, the MX Mobile Experience division is this certified fight with DCN by Samsung Electronics, which appears to be working on a successor to the Exynos 2200 chipset. The new revelation contradicts rumors that the Galaxy S23 would not come with an Exynos chipset. The chipset designed by Samsung is not so loved by the public due to its constant performance issues. Interestingly more recent reviews show that the line has gained traction in the entry-level cell phone segment. The supposed Exynos 2300 would be manufactured with Samsung's 3 nanometer process, and used in the Galaxy S23, Galaxy S23 Plus and Galaxy S23 Ultra models. This platform would serve as an alternative to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor also, produced with this lithograph, but replacing Samsung casting techniques with TSMC solutions. Okay, do consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated with all the latest news regarding the Galaxy S23 series. I will see you guys in the next one, peace out.